What's up everyone from my hotel room here in Khartoum, Sudan. I have spent the last five days exploring this amazing country and I have a lot of things to tell you. Five days ago, I was nervous. I didn't know what to expect and the only things I'd heard about Sudan revolved around war and injustice. Considering the fact that the visa is really hard to obtain and that Sudan barely receives any tourists only added to my anxiety before I got off that plane. But wow, five days later and my entire perspectives about Sudan have drastically changed. It's hard to put into words what I'm experiencing here. Along with Iran and Pakistan, I'm going to say that Sudan is the most misconceived country in the world and I'm here to tell you about it from my honest first-hand experiences. First and foremost, Sudan is safe. Very, very, very safe. People think that Sudan is like a war zone and they think it's really dangerous. No. So, so like coming from locals' perspective, it's totally safe. Yeah. Like yeah, especially the city. Yeah. yeah. I think it's safer than most of the countries. I walked the streets of Khartoum alone at night and didn't feel even a hint of danger. There's only a handful of capital cities in Africa that I can say the same. The Sudanese people are wonderful and very hospitable. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. They smile a lot, they chill a lot, they drink tea, smoke shisha, eat good food, and spend their free time relaxing by the Nile. We are here cruising on the Nile in Sudan. Amazing views, check us out. And even though I've spent a short time here, I've met so many talented people. This dude behind me is making these clay pots here by hand, and it's a fascinating process how they make the vase like perfectly shaped. It's safe to say that I'm really impressed by the easy life here in Sudan. It's something that I can get used to really quick. When you drive outside of the city, there aren't many checkpoints or military pointing guns in your face like I've experienced in many countries, especially neighboring Chad. Life here is normal, vibrant, and exciting. I wasn't expecting to party in Sudan at all because it's a dry country and nightlife isn't something that comes to mind. But wow, I was proven wrong. This is how we party in Sudan! My friends invited me to this massive party at the British Council where the top artists of Sudan were performing. It was as great of a party scene as anywhere else on earth, but the only difference here is that they do it all sober. That's impressive. Sudan is a wonderful place and is without question one of my favorite countries in Africa. I urge you to consider coming here so you can check it out and I promise you that you will not regret it. Right? Drew. Jewel. Drew. Yeah, okay. My name is Jackson Anthony. Nice to meet you, bro. Okay. You have two yeah. names? Jackson Anthony. Jackson Anthony? Yeah, okay. Drew. Jewel. <laughs> I need some big smiles, man. Yeah, okay. Hold on. Yeah. Smile. What are you saying? No, no teeth, girl. No, he's got teeth. I want to see them. Thank you. Shukran. Take it easy, bro. Yeah, okay, no problem. <laughs> I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.